Heroes that doesn't have to run away, nor does their team have to run away during the flight cannon because of the war cry. So that's that's, that's really big. And Sven will just undoubtedly win a man fight versus a gyrocopter. EG starts swarming down the pit in order to go on the DK Fobos. He managed to get off the cogs, which is really important here. And they're going to try and rotate around the cogs now in order to get to that bounty rune. Veer's stunned up, but he has the eye himself. Plus the Scorcher, they're slowly but surely beating down FNG. They do get the first blood, even if they have to give up the bounty rune. And G, he now has to try and go for the deny from Roshan, but the aggro goes to the Radiant side. And EG pick up a secondary kill. Great start for Evil Geniuses. Warcry on Arteezy. I'm a little surprised he didn't go stun right there, but they're gonna have to at least leash until level two on these heroes. Yeah, so that's actually gonna be um, really, really gonna hurt some mail because we did have the SF who was the one who picked up the bounty rune and oh, double nukes! And they managed to actually take down uh, some mail. It'll support versus an offlaner if you can keep your levels somewhat close to each other. I feel like you're doing a, a good job against that offlaner. Yeah, that's a pretty good benchmark, I would say. Deer does actually take the charge here. The Greek Wave comes in at the exact same time, and this is not going to make it easy for the Rock Barrage damage. In fact, Lilith is going to go down to the Scorched Earth, and the uh, damage over time of the... It's, it's, it's really hard to come back from a poor early game, which generally is how the laning phase goes if you have a jungler. So you have smoke behind... Yeah, Samel, oh, he misses the shackle shot there, and she is actually being lured in to try and go for that kill, but immediately countered as the smoke pops, and EG revealed the two extra heroes. He turns around, goes for the double raise, but he couldn't get the second one off. If he did, I think he would have actually gotten that kill. The charge comes out from Lil, they're still going to commit for this one, FNG going in deep, and Lil does manage to get the kill on that mid laner, so if you look at it as the Lena in exchange for the Wind Ranger, in that regard, it's okay, but Lil has to get out first. He should be fine, though. He's got a charge, and sure he'll head up to the top lane or something, as long as he doesn't get caught by a TZ. I can he charge the side, charges out, and yeah, stun will follow him, but who cares, he's over the cliff, that's far enough. I don't know, looks or, like Peter wants it? to chase him, he has to wait for his clarity. He's already fought. Yeah, they're spending so much time trying to track him down and they won't be able to get this kill. And it looks like RTZ has also deviated from Rabbit's build and not going max points in Cleave. Trying to farm or fight a lot early oh, rather. Oh, they hit some mail, lock him down with the nukes. Another easy kill for VP Lil's uh, little game there. To survive these, uh, survive these fights. And on top of that, they have the potential to steal the stacks with the spent. So yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's gonna pretty risky. It feels like they can get uh, doubly punished here. It's easy. Well, the combination of cogs and the charge in looks be enough to get that kill. The doom does go out. It looks like DK Phobos is just gonna be run down with the ion shell. They don't actually have enough for Scorch Earth, and they're gonna be able to turn around up here with the ultimate coming out from Illidan. They use the gyrocopter very aggressively and pick up the counter kill. Uh, a two for nothing is easily that clockwork will escape, and will they get a third kill? Some mail. He's gonna be charged up here. They miss a light strike array. Not sure if that's just for the extra movement speed or what. The wind run does give him a decent amount of distance away from VP that they can't continue to chase. Death. Ideally on those uh, two physical damage cores, but Lena oh, always... Oh, he's missed it! Oh, he missed that one! Now he's still gonna turn and try and go for PBD, but he's been locked down by the shackle shot. The rest of the team is coming in. It looks like PBD is still gonna go down, and DK Fobos, I'm not sure how he's still alive, but he's just so Venom. damn tanky with the help of the Tread. And now the backups, it looks like Samael's gonna be going down as well. And yeah, BP now gonna be able to take that Ancient stack, it looks like. That... It, but it, it just, you know, you don't typically want to go a minus against a team that's playing aggressively into you and you're, you're kind of behind like this, but... There's not as many other item choices you really go for. The charge comes in. Looks like they're going to focus all of their attention on a fear who Scorched Earth doesn't look to be enough to save him. In fact, God is going to survive through this doom rather easily. Ill and not quite as lucky, though. The combined damage of Arteezy rocking that ion shell is actually dishing out so much on the front lines here. He's going to go for God up next. He has this done in two seconds, but G is going to be able to get away. Instead, he turns to go for DK Phobos, but a good set of cogs to make sure that EG can Because they can't get mecked up. Mm. Gyro was kind of isolated. I think he was tanking of the tower, maybe? I wasn't really watching that part of the fight, but he was really low when Sven just came up and rocked him, and oh, are they gonna be able to enough? Yeah, they get the stun. Lil, is the charge enough? It looks like it. PBD has no more mana, and now he's gonna be bounced back by Lil's ultimate. And they get a chase for fear. Illidan, he's got the ultimate, but I don't think they can... Oh, the Scorcher is actually running out now. He's gonna be hit by the first slow, and now the rest of the team coming in from behind. Spear doesn't stand a chance, especially with a little bit of 17% happening. That tier one tower is gonna be sacrificed as well and what, what they really need is the doom on the shadow fiend and then all these spells have come out but that's that's kind of living in la la lane if you think that you can get them off in a reasonable fight so. 
Ultimate goes out and they find the lion. Man, just take him out. They'll just go for the tier one tower next up. By, by, I mean, that was probably a 15, Universe. 14 minute oh, no. pickup. Yeah, no tier one tower for anybody on EG to uh, TP to. So Universe is going to be con. He does have a surge up in a second, but Light Strike Ray, Laguna Blade, and Dragon Slade to finish him off. We'll you know, I think up. FNG has been playing amazingly well. He was like, is like far from 10th down impact. Yeah, he's, he's probably had one of the highest impacts in this game. So, FNG, if you find this one, you god. Oh, the mail's going to be con. Here they managed to get the shackle shot interrupted by DK Bubbles. We'll see if FNG managed to survive. Yeah, he's good. The rest of BP easily lock him down. They know. I mean, EG here, I, I feel like a little bit notorious. Uh, Illidan going oh, low. That. Heck up. Oh, yeah, Lil, he's tanky as all hell, but they do have the finger of death. They can just drop him a bit lower. They can commit for the kill, but not enough. Now to TP potential turnaround. DK Bubbles hook shot up in a second here, and they've got vision to Peter. Line strike array, and he's done for. I mean, that's the kind of thing about the VP though. They, they actually spotted out Roshan. He's got the double damage, so he's gonna try and go for that one. A blink dagger now complete for Fear. Hook shot in. He's gonna be able to grab PPD, and there's not much PPD can really do about this one with the uh, blade mail. He's gonna kill himself eventually if he tries to go for the Earth Spike. So they're gonna be killing anyone. So I I still think blink and going for the big wobble combo okay. is the best maneuver for them right now. Uh, EG, they know they needed a special kind of initiation, but Illidan, he already got off the BKB ahead of the Doom, and that'll be able to prevent a lot of this incoming damage. She pops that ultimate to make sure the rest of EG are not gonna be able to stand and fight. They'll be able to catch Universe quite easily. With with that ultimate, and looks like they'll be able to turn around and get RTT as well, as he just gets kind of kited around by FNG. Nice jump in from Peter, but he's got, well, he's still at the finger of death, maybe to finish off the leanup, but doesn't commit to it. And BP, they pick off three as EG attempt to initiate. The sad fight for RTZ. You see what happened to him? The MPKB, he got hook shot, and then DK Fobo was four steps out of the cog, so he was oh, standing so he's there, stuck there and his entire duration. And he almost got FNG, and then after his BKB ended, he got Yules and then stunned and then just died. So I don't actually think he got to hit anyone during the fight, aside from one whack on FNG. And now the BKB, they don't actually have it up for another 30 seconds. G will lose his Aegis here with Lil Stun on the side. Oh, nice grip up if they have any follow-up on four man Stun comes out for BKB! And this is exactly what EG needs to be able to win the fight. Now Illidan as well as our Darkseer just on full retreat. Looks like DK Bubbles barely managed to get out, but Illidan is going to be chased down by this Scorched Earth. Power shot not landing, but the tick, he finally gets him. The Link Dagger makes sure that Fear picks up that kill. And and that's it. You're talking about it. How is EG going to come back into this game? BP has to fail a push up. What they need to do is they need Lena to sit outside and potentially Yule's a Dark Seer if you can anticipate it, similar like to an Orchid play. Or have, oh, Peter gets hook shot out and I see. Yeah, just because you get one kill doesn't necessarily mean, oh, nice vacuum outside of the cogs. That's going to be able to buy him Peter some time. He gets off the force that one. Uh, the Lena, she turns out the Laguna Blade and shows her strength as well. Universe is going to be fine with FNG's nukes aren't enough. And Lil with the double damage on some mail. Rip through that cow. Here? Careful there, buddy. It picked off one, but there's a lot of TPs on OP. Oh, <laughs> that Sainer Banisher getting in the way at DK Phobos, who would have landed the uh, hook shot on RTZ otherwise. Meanwhile, in the middle lane, Lil's just going to charge right through. They've caught PPD, and they finish him off with a double ultimate. So FNG wants to be able to move forward for more, because he still has the Yule Scepter, but Lion is revived. So RTZ has a blink. They still can make a play, make sure they don't they, they drop a sentry so that they know they don't have vision. Oh, yeah. nice shackle shot. Maybe this is going to be the follow-up. PPD leads in. Now they get the vacuum combination with a two-man stun. They've already taken out one, and it looks like God is going to go down before he gets on the cheese off. Now Gyrocopter is going to come back, pop the BKB, but he's in some serious trouble as EG have just already surrounded him. They're going to run him down between the focus fire and the right-click damage of Arteezy. FNG, he's going to be able to TP himself away, and it looks like nice juke from Lil. Hides himself in the trees and will be able to TP out as well, but that was Aegis and Cheese. That was supposed to be the big advantage. So I assume not Lotus Orb, so I'm... I'm not exactly sure how that's going to work out for them, especially with the BKB, like, it won't do that much. Oh, this is going to be awkward. 17% already starting things off. The rest of the team comes forward, but a stun on Illidan, and Arteezy just starts ripping through a button. Illidan's going to be staying one step ahead of him. Lil gets taken off by that Aghanim step, and they throw out the ultimate from FNG, but it's still not enough. DK Phobos on the front lines gets a lot of damage return. Arteezy trying to take him out. They will manage to get him with a level death, but Arteezy is going to fall as well, and BP starts swinging forward, trying to catch out the rest of EG, but they don't have the movement speed to be able to catch up. They're going to try and cut him off as they uh, cut through the secret shop area, but it's just going to be EG pushing forward as much as possible, catching the creep wave, and TPing out. Late PKB by Illidan. 
definitely hero because he's both tanky yeah. enough and they can afford to then have him die. I think that might be better, but it's it's just so hard to avoid shackles, especially. Yeah. Here jumps right into more heroes, and they already got the stun on Illidan with the Doom combined. That's going to be a great setup to side the fight. Or Shiva's actually going to slow him down, and Illidan should be falling here. D gets off a decent ultimate. Illidan taken out slowly but surely, but it looks like RTZ. Oh, nice back you backwards. Universe gets blown up by FNG though. He bought enough space for RTZ to escape, and now G and FNG are caught in this awkward position. RTZ just two shots FNG. They lose the Spirit Breaker as well, and it's only G left alive for VP, as they're still going to try and catch him out here. Fear will be able to blink up another four seconds. He'll combine that with the Shivas if they can get some mail there on the front lines. Doesn't look like they'll be able to chase him down, though. EG backing themselves up. Buyback, none on Windranger. Yes on Sven, yes on Doom, yes on Lion. Illidan actually could shackle shot it up, and this was a problem for them last time. The shackle shot by itself in terms of kill, they don't have to really commit too much. Now the three man back in with a combination. They throw the wall over the top. God is going to be chased away with the doom, and Illidan just gets ripped apart by RTZ. Once again, EG. Oh, what a great shackle shot. That's going to hold DK Bobos in place for a while. While well, they chase down God, who is still doomed up. Shiva slowed down. He's gone. And DK Bobos, well, he's the well, last one left alive. Hook shot out. Ooh, nice jump over to the new team. He will be able to escape because of that, but now you're left in an awkward position. VP, they've already lost their team. It's a very systematic game from EG. They're really good about damage control and not letting the other team get too far ahead. A hook shot in, DK Bobles is going to be hexed up the charge. On through, he's going to be able to stun for actually FNG. It's a decent light strike array, but it's not going to be good enough. He just gets stunned down, and now VP are once again left with only three heroes. They managed to catch uh, some ale, but a nice blink backwards actually keeps himself ahead of Illidan. He's going to turn and fight Illidan as best as possible, but they actually back up. Just get the melee rack, jump in once again from DK Mobile towards Snap outside of the cons, but some ale is going to be caught and taken out. Illidan needs to stay ahead of Arteezy, though. It's nice, two man stun. DK Mobile and Illidan so both going to be focused down in EG, unless they're going to be buying back massively. They're just going to back up now. Two-man smoke from top lane, through to bottom, and VP, are they really going to contest around the tier 2? Maybe just as a kind of surprise team fight that EG might not expect. DK Bobos actually goes in and bumps back to Mail as best as possible, but Shackle Shot locks him down, he's going to be taken out with RTZ on the front lines with Cleave actually doing a large amount of damage, but RTZ is going to fall. Lil finishes him off, but G, he'll take down for the new, he just turns and fights, nice backing back wall combination that catches both Illidan and Lil. They charge forward now, Universe, nice leg strike array, catches Spear, Shackle Shot not quite latching, but a doom and stun! PVD blinks in and catches both Lil and Illidan to finish him off, the buyback is already there from G, and he's chasing down some Mail, needing that kill desperately, they're going to have to throw more buybacks if they want to keep G alive here, but they might be too late. He pops the cheese now. He's already down to half HP once again. Finally, Illidan and FNG are here, but it's too late. That zap is down for two minutes now, and EG just start backing up, making sure they don't give away any free kills. Universe goes back in. Two-man vacuum. Peter. It